The boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, or BDS, against Israel seemed to score a major victory when Ben & Jerry's announced it would prohibit the sale of its ice cream in Israeli settlements in the West Bank. And Israel is pushing back. Israeli Foreign Minister Yair Lapid went on the offensive after Ben & Jerry's ice cream announced it will no longer sell its products in Jewish communities in the West Bank and Jewish neighborhoods in eastern Jerusalem. Ben & Jerry's decision is a shameful surrender to anti-Semitism, to BDS, to all that is evil in the anti-Israel and anti-Jewish discourse. We won't stay silent. Ben & Jerry's decision gives a boost to BDS that has targeted Israel for more than a decade. More than 30 states in the U.S. have anti-BDS submission laws passed in recent years. I'm going to go one by one and require them to enforce these anti-Ben and Jerry's laws because they will not treat us in this way without encountering a response. Israel's ambassador to the U.S., Gilad Erdan, tweeted that he sent a letter to 35 U.S. state governors saying, I ask you to consider speaking out against the company's decision and taking any other relevant steps, including in relation to your state laws and commercial dealing between Ben and & Jerry's and your state. Ben & Jerry's issued a statement saying it was inconsistent with its values for its ice cream to be sold in what it called occupied Palestinian territory. But its parent company, Unilever, said it had prevented the ice cream maker from boycotting Israel proper too. Israel gained control of the West Bank, Gaza, and all Jerusalem during the 1967 Six-Day War. Known as Judea and Samaria, some 700,000 Israelis live in areas they believe are part of their biblical heritage. It doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense if you're anti-Semitic and you hate Israel. This is perfect. Do it over something more important than ice cream. Rabbi Yitzhak Adlerstein of the Simon Wiesenthal Center told CBN News that many are underestimating the impact of the boycott. To link Ben and Jerry's, to link that corporate image with the idea that Israel is a colonialist, brutal oppressor of a country that was stillborn and shouldn't be here, that's the real problem. Because once one company does that, then other companies will find it much easier to follow suit. Rabbi Adlerstein says the most important action people can take is to approach their local supermarket manager. And say, hey, I'm just putting a suggestion forward. Ben and Jerry's now sticks in the throats of lots of people who shop here. But they were not telling you, we're going to boycott you unless you remove Ben and Jerry's from your shelves. But we'd appreciate it if maybe you can downgrade them, maybe you can give them a little less favorable place in the, in the, on, on display. The Palestinian Authority applauded the boycott, calling it legal and moral. And the Palestine Solidarity Campaign tweeted, this is huge, very important step by Ben and & Jerry's and a message to all complicit companies. The tide of history is turning. Unlike this standard coffee flavor, the boycott has inspired a number of satirical flavors on social media by those opposing the boycott including one called Push the Jews into the Sea Salt and Caramel. Israelis are now hoping this boycott by Ben & Jerry's will melt away in the summer heat.